Hello, this is a training video on how to set up the customer proposal area on the dealer side of the software. We allow each dealer to customize their presentation to their customers. To set up the customer proposal area on the dealer side of the software, you must log in with your master account provided by the manufacturer. Once you have logged in, click account, then pricing. That'll take you to this page right here. We will focus right now. We allow an amazing amount of flexibility for each dealer to present the numbers the way they want to. Under the pricing details, we start off with installation uses multiplier. If set to no, the installation multiplier will always be 1.0. If it's set to yes, installation price will use the exact same multiplier as the, line, as the window does in that line item. Display unit and line pricing, you have the option to hide each line item's price. So you just show a lump sum total in the customer proposal uh, area. Display upgrade costs on the quote PDF, we have the ability to hide or show the upgrade costs like tempered glass or different hardware finishes or grills. Installation pricing. We offer three options on how to present installation pricing. You can itemize it by line item, meaning you're showing the installation price for each individual line item. You could blend it by line, meaning you are adding the installation price in with the window or door price, so those two are blended together, helping disguise the price of the installation and window. Then itemize by order. That's where you do not show any installation pricing for any line item. And instead, in the grand total area, you just have a lump sum installation price. You can customize this box right here in the quote total box area. Here we list out all of the different rows that are available. Each row is drag and droppable, so you can customize the sequence that you present them in. And then if you want to give them a different name, you can simply type into these text boxes right here. To make a row active, click it, check it to yes. To make it inactive, check it to no. There are two discounts that we have created, discount one, discount two. If those are active, you can create discounts down here. An example of a discount could be showroom discount. And you would say if this presents itself in discount one or discount two, we'll say discount one. And you could type in the designated percent off that this discount represents. And click save. There's another discount option where there's an option called code. To utilize the code, you type in, in any three characters right here, and then it applies that percentage to discount. So any three characters, and then the next two characters are numbers. So this right here represents a 19% discount. We will demonstrate the math right here. So we have a subtotal of 2,769.69 times 0.19, 526.24, you can see the manager's discount with the secret code calculated out to be the exact same right there. Then that gives you a new subtotal. You will notice if you are not applying a discount, we hide the word discounts and the subtotals box that are created. That way a customer does not see that a discount is available So the code discount allows your sales rep to have total flexibility if they're quoting a project at the customer's house. A third discount is cash discount. In order for that to work, you have to have cash discount set to yes. And here you type in your uh, specified cash discount percent. To utilize the cash discount over here, you type, just click this checkbox, and it would calculate a 2% discount off of the subtotal of these two items right here. Third item I wanted to show you is this checkbox right here. 
let's say you and a customer are going back and forth trying to come up with a price. Instead of trying to dial in the pricing within the software, you could simply checkbox this and type in the exact number that you want right there. Be sure to leave off any dollar signs or commas when typing in that number. So to summarize, you have the ability to present your numbers in many different methods. Pricing details box allows you to set up those different methods. The quote total box determines how numbers are presented in the customer proposal area. Down here, in, here under discounts, you can set up different discounts. They could either be a fixed percentage or a variable percentage rate uh, based upon any three characters. And then the next two characters are numeric where you can type in a specific discount percent. And a third discount is a cash discount where you type in the specified percent for that cash discount.